Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And as you can tell, today I'm going to help you fix your quarantine bangs. So you guys know that on my channel, I am a big advocate for DIY hair and doing color at home. So this is in no way to poke fun, but more so to help with a pressing matter that I think is going to be very common during this time of quarantine. And I've definitely seen a couple of videos where, you know, like people cut their hair at home and it comes out a disaster, whereas other people sometimes try it and they end up loving it. But the other day I was watching Stephanie here on YouTube. I've followed her for years and, but during this quarantine, I've probably watched four to five videos of hers a day. I don't know why I haven't gone more in depth in the past, but I'm obsessed with her and I feel like we would be best friends in real life. But anyway, a couple of videos ago, she said she was bored at home and that she was going to be cutting her bangs. And all I could think was her hair is gorgeous, like there's nothing she can do, you know, that's going to ruin her hair. Anyway, so right before she cut it, she explained what the look she was going for was. And I was like, okay, that sounds pretty easy. And then as she was like gathering the hair and getting ready to do it, in my mind, I'm like, no, based on what you said you wanted the result to be, this is definitely not going to get you there. And then I was like, she's gonna move her fingers down. And then she didn't. And I mean, the bangs actually did come out well. There's like nothing wrong with the bangs she cut, but they weren't what she wanted. And then she even did the point cutting and everything. Um, but I think she was kind of like, what did I do? This isn't what I wanted. Nice. <laughs> what I want to say through the screen is that you can still totally like manipulate what you've done so far into what you want. So that's where I got the inspiration and the confirmation to film this video. So I'm going to be showing you first actually cutting the bangs on our trusty Susan here today. As you can see, she doesn't have any bangs. So I'm going to cut in bangs. And from there, based on whether you want it to go shorter or whether you wanted more kind of soft bangs and even how to blend bangs into your existing length if they are bangs that you didn't actually want. All right, so we are starting off without any bangs. So the first step obviously is gathering the hair that is going to become bangs and then clipping the rest of the hair back. This is actually a lot of bangs, but I wanna be using enough hair because the thinner the bangs actually are, the easier it is to blend into the rest of the hair. So I wanted to have something pretty substantial to to show you. I think one of the main or first things that people do that can kind of hurt your results is cutting them way too short. So normally people will say like, I want it to, you know, hit my ears or I want it to be able to be side swept. And so they'll do that and they'll press it down tightly and cut there. The issue with that is you're pulling, so there's not gonna be any weight doing that to the hair. So the second you let go, that hair comes up and you're ending up with bangs up to here. Still advisable to have tension on the hair to get you know a good clean cut, but what I would suggest is to do a good inch, inch and a half longer than what you are planning on wanting. In this case, I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to go shorter than we had planned so that I can show you what you can do after. So let's say she wants bangs that come to about kind of the end of her nose and she wants to wear it parted down the middle and she wants them to kind of just swoop back. So she wants it to hit around the nose. First little tip is to twist at least once. You can twist twice. And the reason why that is beneficial is because the hair from this side is pushed to that side, so it's traveled longer, and then the hair in the middle has traveled the least. So you kind of get this like natural little arch to the bangs, which is really natural. Definitely have some resistance on the hair, so we would just come around by the nose and chop. So this is what we're left with. And then I think people, at first they're like, it's not too bad. So then I think most people by now know that point cutting softens, so they'll go in and they'll point cut very little at the ends. Well, if you point cut just like that at the ends, it's not really gonna help. But if you grab that section of hair and go much deeper into the hair and point cut, you're gonna get a lot more softness. It's about really carving into that hair that's gonna create softness, because if you only do 
like this at the tips, you're kind of just making the hair shorter. Bringing the hair up and then point cutting creates a lot more softness. And so essentially what you're doing is trying to have less hair at those ends. So as you can see, that's a lot wispier than that right there. So as you can see, it's a lot softer. So now that we've taken some weight off the bottom, starting to look a little bit better. So you could definitely use the bangs, you know, straight across if that's what you were going for. Or if you are looking to blend them into the rest of the hair, that's what I'm going to show you now. So you part the hair in a center part like this, and you start to kind of just blend it into the hair. Obviously, you can definitely still see that there are bangs there. So because we can't add a length to this, rather than just waiting for them to grow out, you can add a little bit more length to the bangs. So actually meaning cutting more hair from the rest of the hair, just so that this softens into this rather than there being this kind of stark disconnect. So that's what we're going to do next. So grabbing about kind of a half inch section of hair behind the existing now bangs. And the best way to do that is to grab the new bangs and the rest of the hair so that we have kind of a guide to follow. And we're just gonna slide kind of these scissors from there, just creating a very soft slope. So if you look from the side, it still looks a little staircasey because that's the original bangs and now we have a little bit of the softness. So if we connect this here, this is going to appear that the bangs now actually end here. So if you can see that, now looking at that profile, it looks like these are the new bangs. To break up this little staircase slope here, we can go into the most center piece of that hair so basically the already shortest part of that bang and just really softly point cutting into that some more, almost making this like front section almost disappear and just melt into the rest of that hair. And all we're doing is creating softness. So as opposed to having straight across bang, we're just making everything kind of just connect to this piece so that now when your hair looks at this, it really just looks like the bangs are this long. So there you have the before, where you can easily tell that they are too short of bangs, and then you have that side. So there you have it, guys. I've pinned her hair up so you can see much better. All right guys, so that is it. I hope this video was helpful. If you have chopped up some bangs that you're not entirely satisfied with, definitely hope that this will get you there. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.